Now we come to the 27th chapter of the book of Numbers here, and we have the woman's position under law. And this, my friends, is a remarkable chapter, by the way, because of the fact that we are presented here with a new problem, and Moses actually didn't know what to do. He had to appeal to the Lord, because according to the laws of other nations, women just didn't count. In fact, they were treated as chattels. Now, here is the problem. I begin reading at verse 1 of chapter 27. It says, Then came the daughters of Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Maker, the son of Manasseh, of the families of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. And these are the names of the daughters, Melah, Noah, and Hoglah, and Milcah, and Terzah. Now, if you have a lot of daughters in your family, friends, and you run out of names, and you don't like the ordinary names today, here's a list I'd like to suggest to you. Maybe you could find one here. Melah, Noah, Hoglah, Milcah, and Terzah. I never heard of a woman named any of these, and I think I know why. And I think you can tell why. My, they don't sound very good to me. But these were the daughters of Zelophehad. Now, what happened was this, and listen to the problem. And they stood before Moses and before Eleazar the priest and before the princes and all the congregation by the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, saying, Our father died in the wilderness, and he was not in the company of them that gathered themselves together against the Lord in the company of Korah, but died in his own sin, and he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be done away from among his family? Because he hath no son. Give unto us, therefore, a possession among the brethren of our father. And Moses brought their cause before the Lord. Now, here is the problem, as you can see. This man, Zelophehad, he died in the wilderness, and all of his sons were daughters, and he had quite a few of them. He had five daughters and no sons. Now, according to the law of that day, and according to the Mosaic law, it looked as if a son was the one who inherited the property. It looked like the women were just left out. And certainly, the laws of the other nations left them out. They did not count at all. Now, what are they to do? Here are some women that are very aggressive. These daughters of Zelophehad are very aggressive. We are hearing a great deal today about women's rights. Well, they certainly got their rights in the Bible. There are those that years ago said the Bible was a man's book. The more I read the Bible, I'm wondering if it isn't just a woman's book because it's the Word of God that's given women their rights. And I believe that they should have their rights, by the way. And listen now, Moses didn't really know what to do. Moses brought their cause before the Lord. Moses just had to say to them, Well, girls, I don't know what to say to you. I can see that you got a just cause, but according to the laws and the customs of the day, certainly you would not get anything. And so what happens now? The Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, 